Some people say, if you don't speak in tongue, you cannot achieve great things in life. Is it true? If you want to know, keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyilami. Many people and many Christians say, if you don't speak in tongue, there is no way you can fulfill your destiny to the highest level. This is a very, very deep topic that I'm going to discuss today. But before I continue, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, Moses set the tabernacle curtain in order just as the Lord commanded him. Moses anointed Aaron and his family just as the Lord commanded him. Moses opened the tabernacle on the first day of the second year, just as the Lord commanded him. Do you have the cordial relationship with God, talkless of knowing his commandment and obeying it? Do you even know God's direction and step you need to take to achieve your dreams? Your greatness is in your hand, but you will be greater than your colleagues if you follow instruction from your Creator. When Jesus came out of the water after his baptism, the Holy Ghost came on him and he said, This is my beloved Son, listening to him. The Holy Ghost came upon him and God said, This is my beloved Son, listening to him. After the power came on Jesus, after the baptism, Jesus did not speak in tongue, but he was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. That is observation one. Number two, Jesus was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, which led him into 40 days fasting and prayer in the wilderness. Jesus was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. That was why after 40 days of fasting and prayer, when the devil came to tempt him, he won that battle. After Jesus was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, I believe he fulfilled his destiny to the highest level, to the last bit. So why do Christians and some ministers say, if you don't speak in tongue, you can only fulfill your destiny to a certain level? Let's get into discussion. During my meditation time, these are the interpretations I got about this particular topic. Number one, the power came on the disciple, but it was too heavy for them to contain. It was too heavy on them as woman being because that was the first time they experienced the power came mightily on them. But well, if I compare it to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has been chosen even before the world was created. And when Jesus Christ was in the womb of Mary, the Holy Spirit was there with him. So, that was why when the power of the Holy Ghost came upon him after baptism, he didn't speak in tongue, but he went forth to fulfill his destiny with the last bit. But in the disciple case, this was the first time they would receive the power. Maybe as a woman being, the fire of the Holy Ghost that came upon them was too heavy they started to speak in different language, glorifying the name of the Lord. That made Peter to stand up in the midst of many people to talk about Jesus. In Jesus' case, Jesus, the power came on him. He went forth to fulfill his destiny to the last bit. But we were not told in the Bible, he spoke in tongues. When I read the Bible, I focus more on what Jesus did and what God says in the Bible. Jesus didn't speak in tongues. He was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. 
because the body could contain the power. The disciple, when they received the power, their body could not contain the fire of the Holy Ghost, which made them to speak in tongues. They fulfilled their destiny to the last bit. Likewise, Jesus fulfilled his destiny even without speaking in tongues to the last bit because the power of the Holy Ghost in them made them to do exploit. To my surprise, I've been hearing some people, some Christians say, if you don't speak in tongues, that shows that you cannot fulfill destiny to a certain level, to the highest level. That is not true. There is a difference between speaking in tongues and the power of the Holy Ghost in you, which will make you to do exploit. During my meditation time, I got to know that speaking in tongues is a gift. That was why Paul says that he wished that all Christians should desire to speak in tongues. If you desire this gift of speaking in tongues, if you ask God and He opens your mind, He will give it to you. Not what is happening in churches nowadays, in the Christendom nowadays, where people learn how to speak in tongues. To my surprise, in some Christian gathering, if you don't speak in tongues, you are not filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. That is not true. Some Christians will even look at other Christians. If they are in the gathering and everybody is speaking in tongues and someone is not speaking in tongues, they will look at the person as if this one is not spiritually sound. This one is not speaking in tongues. It cannot fulfill destiny to the highest level. That erroneous belief is not true. Hear this truth today. If you don't speak in tongues and you are filled with the power of the Holy Ghost in you, you will do exploit for Christ to the last bit of your purpose. My conclusion, Jesus received the power of the Holy Ghost after his baptism and he went forth into the world and do exploit for God and he fulfilled his destiny to the last bit even though he never speak in tongues. If you desire the gift of speaking in tongues, ask God, he will give it to you. But never say, if you don't speak in tongues, you can fulfill your destiny to the highest level or you can do exploits for Christ. So as Christians, stop looking down on people who doesn't speak in tongues and thinking that they are not real Christian. Lastly, if you don't speak in tongues and you have good character and you do the will of God, you will make heaven and fulfill your destiny. If you speak in tongues and you have good character, you will still make heaven and fulfill your destiny to the highest level. To achieve greatness in life, it depends on your relationship with God, your confidence which is faith, and everything you are telling yourself in your subconscious mind. If you tell yourself, if I don't speak in tongues, that shows that I will not do exploit or fulfill my purpose to the highest level. That is what will happen. If you don't speak in tongues and you say to yourself daily that you will fulfill your destiny to the highest level and you will do more exploit for Christ, that is exactly what will happen. I pray that the Holy Spirit will interpret this message more in you so that you don't wait till you speak in tongues before you start running after your destiny to fulfill it to the highest level God has sent you. Don't wait to speak in tongue if you are not speaking in tongue before you start to run after your destiny. Don't wait to speak in tongue before you start believing that you can do exploit for Christ even though you don't speak in tongue. The most important thing is your confidence in Christ. Your belief, what you tell yourself, that is what will make you to fulfill your destiny the last bit. But if you need the gift, ask Him, the creator of the universe, He will give it to you. Hope this encourage you. Hope this impart you to run after your dreams. Speak to you soon. God bless.